Okay, yep, it's true. Not everybody wants to be independent. <laughs> now, now, most of us as, as renegades probably find that kind of baffling, but apparently it is true. Some people are more than happy to live off the state and to pay for that privilege of doing so. They want to trade their self-autonomy and their privacy and their money for some safekeeping and food and other public services. And if that's you, this video isn't for you. You'll probably be quite insulted. However, if you're looking around you and wondering how do people do this? How do people go and live in other countries where they pay less or no tax and how they're treated better than anywhere they've lived before and certainly better than they are in the home country? Then today on Renegade News, I'm going to give you a sneak peek into the mind of an independent renegade so that you can see for yourself how it is and you can start learning the habits of highly independent people. Welcome back to Renegade News. I'm your host, Glenn Kowalski. Every week on this channel, we'll discuss the latest news, strategies, and tactics for breaking free from the system, paying less tax, and living anywhere in the world that you want. So let's just dive right into it. So what makes a renegade or a highly independent person? Well, the first thing is they're willing to take some risks. Albert Einstein once said that a ship is always safe at the shore, but that's not what it's built for. And people who are independent are essentially survivors and they're ferocious ones at that. They understand the importance of having necessities and they'll do what they need to get done in order for them to support themselves and their family and those people who are important to them. And that often means taking plenty of risks. And they are more than willing to take those risks because being self-reliant, they know that they can handle the consequences when they come up. Many even find that uncertainty in life really exciting. Next, they form new habits. Stephen Covey, the author of Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, says that we become what we repeatedly do. And this lesson is crucial to people who need to be independent like us. Gaining these new skills and learning new things constantly comes with an advantage. For example, more money. In other words, every new skill that we learn is a resource for more support. And an independent person understands that the more that they know and the more that they can do themselves, the better they're going to survive no matter what comes up. New habits are worth collecting because it enriches your personality. It makes you more self-reliant and therefore more confident and able to handle yourself no matter what the world throws at you. Next, they're generally speaking more broad-minded. The American writer E.B. White once said that he wished people would meet an open door with an open mind. And why is that so important? Because survival in this world is means to really move forward, to grow. And the only reason that independent are independent is because they're constantly growing and adapting to the world as it changes. And they can do this because they're broad-minded or because they're receptive to absolutely everything and every piece of information out there. Having that open mind means being open to opportunities, ideas, and perspectives. And that's what forms the support system when difficulties ultimately arise and they will. They're also not easily influenced by others. Independent people have this mind of their own. And it's because of that quality that their beliefs and their principles are well-rooted and cannot be easily swayed by the opinions of others. Any decision that they take on is based on what they believe and not on the expectations or judgments of society. That's why they're called renegades. It's this lack of insecurity that gives them the awe-inspiring confidence. So the insecurity of other in others' opinions that gives them the confidence in themselves. Now, of course, most of them are open to suggestions and advice. They tend not to ask for help because the only help that they're used to is what they get from themselves. Renegades also stick to their decisions. And it's because they take these decisions independently that they understand that there's responsibilities that come with those decisions and they stick with them. Independent people are rarely worried about the consequences of their decisions because they own up to the things no matter what the outcome is. They take their responsibility. And it's only when we're, we're constantly worrying about the consequences of our decisions that we become fickle and we perpetually change our minds. And that's a trait that will, you're not gonna see in a person that stands on their own feet. Once they make a decision, they stick to it simply because they're confident about everything that led up to that decision and they're fully prepared to bear the consequences of it. Renegades also have self-respect. And that's probably the most important element that makes up an independent person, that respect in their self and their decisions and their own responsibility. And it's the one thing that you simply have to have to be a renegade. It's all about the willingness to accept that responsibility for one's own life. And that's the source from which self-respect springs. 
as the world becomes more draconian and organizations like the WF try to take everything you own so you can be happy, it falls on the highly independent renegades like us to take responsibility over our own lives. So we're creating a movement of entrepreneurs, professionals, and other highly independent people who are willing to step up and find more freedom and liberty in this unfree world. Click on the link in the first pinned comment to learn how to join this movement, this renegade movement for free. And while you're here, check out the video that you see on the screen right now for more information on the best places to live and the best places to start businesses. Things like Bitcoin and cryptocurrency and internationalization and more. I'm Glenn Kowalski from Renegade News, and I'll see you over there.